Wow. Good morning, YouTube. Oh, I know. I know. You're not going to like this, probably, because it's not going to be stellar. Maybe be a will. For the price point, five thousand fucking dollars, I camper. I don't know. I, I feel. I feel. It's not good. It's not good. It's okay. It's it's light. It's up there. It looks good. It looks good when it's deployed. It's not good. Last night was probably the worst night I've slept in it so far because the mattress now is. It was not good to begin with. It's almost the same as sleeping on the ground with a closed cell backpacking mattress. We're, we're there, we're, we're at that point now. There's no padding left. And iCamper knows this because they'll sell you an inflatable upgraded, upgraded, inflatable. Because the whole reason I spent $5,000 on their product was so I could add an extra step to it by inflating a, a mattress. So you're gonna hear my opinion on this. And it's just my opinion. I'm sure there's hatred because there's everybody, everybody, I think it's denial. When you spend $5,000 on it, you're just gonna think you got the best thing in the world and, and, and maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Here's my real, real world review coming from an old grumpy man with a white beard. I know it. I can hear it right now. Jet up, boomer. Yeah. Anyways, today's my birthday. 51 years on this fucking planet. Uh, almost all of them camping. So there's that little tidbit of experience. I don't know. Been camping since I was a little kid. So. I've got some experience with tents. I just do. It just is what it is, and I'm going to give you my honest review. So here we go. Yo. Ha. All right. Well, let's take a look. Start with the outside. It looks bitching, right? Yes, it does. I think it's a cool looking tent. Very cool looking tent. It looks really good folded up too. The materials are, are nice. I don't know if it's any thicker than my Tapui is, but I feel like my Tapui feels a little thicker because I've had them both. I've had the Tapui a long time. It's been in three different countries. It's been around. Um, this ladder is okay. It's not bad. I love these. I love these pins for the ladder so you can remove it. Um, these are real nice. All the uh, rods to pop out the rain fly. And the uh, side windows. Great. The zippers are awesome. I love the latching system. Here's where it falls apart, $5,000. Let's not forget that part. Let's not forget that part where it's $5,000. And the very first thing I noticed, very first, when I opened this thing up, the very first time was this. Like, oh. So it got holes in the, uh, Rain fly and a wear mark in the uh, tent body. I thought it was rubbing on this, maybe from shipping. Well, that's not what it was. I'll show you what it is, and I have fixed it. It's this, it's this part of the ladder where the screw protrudes, rubbing a hole in my $5,000 tent. That was the first thing I noticed. It's like, um, now I just, I throw a microfiber towel over both of these and life is good. Maybe eye camper should have had some kind of a cushion up here for these things. 
And then the second thing I noticed when I first opened this tin up, I said, oh, that mattress looks, it looks nice. It looks nice, it does. And I'm like, oh, wow, that is cool, right? It is, right? That's pretty cool. Got a, a map of the world, very cool. This looks like it should be comfy. It's egg crate. It looks like it should be comfy. Yeah, what I did notice when I first crawled in here, the very first time was, I've got 30 nights in this mattress and it's already kind of <laughs> wore out in the middle because I sleep in the middle. I'm a side sleeper. Um, Honestly, this is comparable to sleeping on the ground with a closed cell foam mattress for backpacking. Is, I'm not exaggerating. That's, that is. Okay, so that's, that's my two main gripes. Uh, everything else is really actually fairly positive. The, the windows are awesome. I love that you can zip out the screen pop these out these are cool they've got a drawstring to pull pull these these zip closed which is nice it's a nice tent it's just for five grand i have a ruined rain fly i'm sure i'm sure they'll warranty that or i know you can buy them it's just ridiculous that the workaround is putting a rag there but that's cool um i don't know is it worth five grand? Eh. So, a lot of people complain about condensation. As you'll notice, I'm wearing a beanie and a puffy jacket. It is cold this morning. It was cold last night. The, the sunroof is nice. Um, whee. You got a nice little sunroof. It's got, <clears throat> it's got some condensation on it this morning because it was cold. But the inside's dry. So the tent itself, there's no moisture. That's good. You got this is a nice feature too. You've got a nice channel here with loops that you can hang your shoes from or whatever. I will show you my secret to the shoes though. For shoes. I just use one of these portable wash tubs. Folds up nice. And uh, I just put it in the corner of the tent. My shoes go in there. Keeps it clean inside. I mean, it's, there's, there's lots of nice details. I'm not beating this tent up saying it's a total piece of shit. It's just <laughs> probably one of the most important things in a tent is the mattress. And probably one of the most probably one of the things that people buy these for the most is a comfortable mattress and this does not have a comfortable mattress and when i pay five thousand dollars for a tent i'm not interested in an upgraded mattress well now i take that back if it was truly an upgraded mattress and didn't add an extra step every time i set the tent up by an inflatable mattress that i had to put in put out store somewhere okay fine you can sell me an upgraded mattress but, yeah. <clears throat> and storing your bedding inside here? Um, I think that's a little ambitious on anybody's part. You're not storing anything in there. <clears throat> not without stressing those latches, in my experience. Um, yeah. All you're going to do is make the... He's just going to make this mattress even worse than it already is. But it's nice. The uh, rain fly rolls up. It rolls up and you have a very nice skylight. We'll get this thing ready to fold up. So I really do need to break camp. Zip the screen back in here. Like I said, the zippers are real nice. Very nice, they don't feel flimsy. They don't feel like they're gonna be an issue. You can see the way the mattress is stowed before you fold it up. They give you a pouch here that zips up to uh, 
hold your tent poles. So that's a really nice feature because it's just right there. And this is the rest of the zippers. They function really nicely. See, everything zips on and off. The whole tent body zips off the frame. It's nice, it's nice little details like that. It's just, honestly, my biggest gripe is the piece of shit mattress. And we'll call it that, because it is that. It is exactly that. And this. This. That's horse shit. That's horse shit. All right, warmed up good. Got my coffee. I'm gonna show you how easily this folds up. And uh, it is, it really is a good tent. $5,000 plus tax. It's an expensive tent. It's an expensive tent. I'm gonna figure out something with the mattress. It's, it's sad, but other than that, honestly, it's, a, it's good. Just the two things, the mattress and that, which they're huge, right? There's, there's a hole worn through my rain fly and a pretty good wear mark in the tent body. That's not cool. This tent is three months old. I've got 30 nights in it. Let's fold this thing up. These are really nice prop rods. And I do, I love the storage pouch. I think the storage pouch is a really nice thought. But maybe instead of thinking of little things like that, let's think about the huge thing, the mattress. Love that little detail, that is nice. Okay. That's it, that's all there is to it. We'll fold this up. All right, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. See, this screw, where it's been hitting this rain fly. That just sucks. And uh, there's nothing you can do about it. As soon as you fold this down, it touches. I don't understand why it didn't do it on that side. It's odd, strange, but we'll put our fix up there. Maybe eye camper should have had some kind of a cushion up here for these things. But I have full confidence that that is the fix. I just don't understand why we have to do such a thing. Right. We've got a uh, cover for these. Let's uh, put this on. Keep some of the dirt out of the tent. This is nice too. I like it's got these two draw strings on the side that pull the sides in. At the same time, pulling the tent down, which that's a nice, that's a nice feature. That's a, that's a feature that was, you know, attention to details. They missed the big picture with the mattress though. I don't know. I don't see how anybody could think that that mattress is comfortable. Especially if you're a side sleeper. One thing people have griped about is, is having it have the key to, to use this. Uh, it, it doesn't bother me, oddly enough. Because you have to put the key in to be able to latch it. So you have to use the key to latch and unlatch it. Eh, that's not a big deal to me. These are adjustable, so you can adjust them. So you've got a little bit of up and down movement for packing stuff in there, but there's not a lot. Um, I'm not comfortable leaving my bedding in there 
and this is a two-person tent, so that would be two people's worth of bedding that they claim you can store inside this tent. I don't believe it. Uh, it's held up well. It's taken some pinstripes. But there it is. But it looks like they're, I mean, it's really nice the way that all the components zip on and off. I mean, you could zip that whole tent body off and replace it. So that's nice. Would be nice if I camper, I don't know, sent me a rain fly. I use my stuff. I, I use it. So I'll find its breaking point. I always do. I don't abuse it, but I, you know, I don't baby my shit. I, I'm not here to have fun. I'm not here. I tiptoe around people all day long for work. I'm not out here to tiptoe around my equipment. It's just me. And I'm, and I'm, I, I do this for me. I do the YouTube videos for me. I'm selfish. I like to save my adventures. I, I, I enjoy editing the videos. I don't do it for YouTube cloud. I don't do any of this for any of that. Um, never have. I just enjoy being outdoors away from people. I don't well, guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful or amusing, hey, at the end of the day, it's a nice tent. Uh, yeah, and also love people, love nature. Hi, camper. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Um, we're actually on a very nice adventure for a couple weeks here. So we'll be using this tent intensely. Cheers.